Hey y'all, this is Organically Designed and I'm Lindsay and today we are doing a Dollar Tree haul video. Um, so there is a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be showing y'all for some organizing projects that I'm doing, um, some of my favorite organizers that I picked up and some randomness and then some things for kids crafting and summer reading for myself and my kids. Um, so a lot of different things and I'm going to be trying to go through it as fast as possible because there is a lot here. So let's get started with that. So as far as organizing, um, I've said this many times before, I love to keep my organizers within my color scheme of white, black, gray, and I do a lot of clear bins too. Um, just because I can mix them around. So my two favorite bins that I like to use when organizing are these bins. And I like these square bins because they're really deep. And on top of that, they're stackable. So they're good for underneath your sink. Um, I'm actually going to be using them possibly in my kid's bathroom. I picked out a, two different shapes for my kid's bathroom to kind of see which one was going to work better. So I love these. And then my other favorite one, and y'all have seen this in my linen closet organization. I use the gray ones um, for blankets and things. So this is just their circular tub. And I just, I love these because they're flexible. So this is another one contender for the kids bathroom so um, I'm trying to do their linen closet that's in their bathroom and they each have a shelf so I'm trying to do that another favorite organizer of mine and I've already taken <laughs> these out of the package but um they come Ooh, this is four they come in a three pack I like these these are great for anything I actually use them in myself and my husband's and my kids little mini drawers that we keep under our bathroom sink um, to kind of separate hair accessories and q-tips and toothbrushes and things like that so these are great for pretty much anything this shape I mean desk organizers um, and I've seen people using them in their kitchen because they're nice and slim for utensils if you have those weird shaped drawers which I do myself and then another one I don't have the third one because I've used so many of these these little square ones they're the same look as the skinnier ones but I like these little square rectangular ones because these are great I keep my ponytail holders and these and then I keep the little clips that I use in my hair on in this and they fit perfectly in those little drawer organizers so another favorite organizer of mine and then um, I use a lot of um, what like shower hooks, the S shower hooks to organize stuff actually in my office because I have some shelves and things in there that I kind of hook things on like for different projects, um, like wreathing projects and things like that that I might be working on. Uh, so I kind of hang stuff there, stickers, whatever. But I needed some like bigger ones for because like those big grapevine wreaths just don't fit on those. So I picked up some of these in the gardening section. I mean, you can use these little S hooks for anything. Um, they, they're called the metal garden hook and you get two in a pack. And, um, but you can use them for anything. But like I said, I'm gonna be using them for wreaths to hang wreaths up, so um, in storage. So another little house thing I have seen, um, Catherine from do it on a dime which I love you Catherine if you ever watch any of my stuff but um <laughs> I've seen her use these and then when I was out with my friend she said this works great too so this drain rooter and I'm kind of like excited but disgusted at the same time by what I may be pulling out of the drains but um it's not like our drains are clogging or anything but we have a lot of hair with myself with a super thick head of hair my oldest daughter has curly hair long hair and so we're just some hairy people so wanted to definitely use get one of those and try it out as far as cleaning drains so um another cool thing i use this in my middle daughter's room and i'm about to spray paint one for my oldest daughter because her color is gold so i'm gonna spray paint this gold this is a paper towel holder and of course it's in their little kitchen section, but I'm gonna spray paint that gold for her for scrunchies 
and some people have said they don't like using this for scrunchies because they feel like they have to like pull all of them off to get to the bottom one but my daughter has like no problem with it she just kind of like pulls it over and like stretches it over the other ones on there and has no issue with it so um but i like this um instead of putting them taking up room in their little accessory drawers so this one will be spain spray painted gold so um another thing that i'm going to be doing is i showed y'all those little baskets for the bathroom that i've used for like my ponytail holders and stuff but they're just not organized enough for me because that's just how my brain works so i picked up these book rings you can get the large in a six pack and then the smaller ones in an eight so I'm going to be using these for my different types of ponytail holders because I have thin ones, small ones, big ones, fat ones, whatever. And I can kind of like organize those a little better. And then these are also going to be used in my car and car kits for ponytail holders that I'll keep in there. Because like I said, we are, me and my daughters are like a hairy bunch. So we have a lot of hair. So we need something to hold it back just in case. So those are going in the car and for myself and the girls, um, all of our hair stuff. And so another thing that I'm using in my car kits, cause that's something that I'm constantly finding stuff for, is I wanted some change purses, but big enough to maybe keep some ones in, some quarters in for parking, things like that. So I picked up these three, and I think these are fairly new um, because I have not seen these, but they have two, it's a two zipper pouch, and it's a good size, you can keep cash, in one and coins in the other and I got three so that we could have one for our little truck one for the little car and one for the suburban so that um, no matter what car we're driving we'll always have a little bit of cash and a little bit of change so these are super cute fun summer colors and then we'll kind of know what colors go in what car so that's another little organizing thing and then still on the car kits I picked up these for the first aid kits. These are Frog Togs Cooling Wrap with Chili Mint. So I thought these would be great to keep in the first aid kit because with the summer coming up, like someone getting overheated, so I picked up a few of these. They're originally $1.99, so it's not a huge price difference, but I'll take 50% off. So, and then one more thing for the car. Um, I got a comb and I'm going to be keeping that in the Suburban again because keeping some hair stuff. I don't really worry about it in the little car and things like that, but we do little trips and things like that in the Suburban. So this is just something good to keep in there. And then another just like, okay, so I know I'm like, I blew through some of that stuff, but bear with me. We're getting to more fun stuff. Um, in the party favor section, I've seen these in like the primary colors, the yellow, green, blue, red, but I have not seen them in these really cool, fun colors. So this purple, light purple, aqua blue, and this hot pink. And these are just little squares. And I was like, how good would these be for um, to hold earrings and things when traveling? Or you can use them for medication or I can use them in the um, car organizers. Like if I hadn't bought or I need to refill the little small packs of like ibuprofen, Tylenol, um, you can fill them up, fill, put these, put them in here. Um, Cause I was like, look at that little tiny size. And just like I said, um, I hadn't seen these outside the primary colors at our Dollar Trees anyway. So, definitely pick those up so i'm probably gonna put them in my travel kit um because i i already have like the little tiny packs for ibuprofen and tylenol but um yeah these are super cute so tons of uses for little things like that they're cute for party favors but i feel like earrings and change and you can change and things like that so another rando random product that i found and um because it is summer so i found these george and tom's 12 sugar cones so they're the waffle cones so 12 in there 
And I was like, oh, this is great because we like to keep ice cream during the summer in the house. It's weird. We just don't really keep ice cream that much until it gets warm. Um, but I was like, how great will this be for the kids? So I thought this would be fun for them. And you can't beat 12 cones for a dollar. Okay, so now moving on to books and things. So the first thing um, I'm gonna show y'all is, so like DVDs and stuff. I have never really had like good luck finding DVDs at um, Dollar Tree, but I happened to go into a new Dollar Tree because I was going to a doctor's appointment. And so I went into Raleigh and went to this new Dollar Tree to just kill some time before my appointment. And they had DVDs sitting up front in their wow Dollar Tree bin thing that some, some stores have, some stores don't. Like a wow $1 thing. So I found this Blu-ray disc DVD, Bad Teacher. And sorry, y'all this movie is so freaking funny. Uh, um, Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake um, are in it. And um, it's older, but freaking funny as heck. And um... I love DVD still. I know that I can watch a lot of stuff on Amazon Prime and Netflix and Hulu. But I, I love DVDs. Um, so, yeah. I went ahead and picked this up. DVD. Okay, so books. I just recently got into getting books and things from the Dollar Tree. Because um, I never really thought of it as a place with, like, good books. Um, but... I am addicted to watching Thrifty, Thrifty Tiffany and she shows a lot of like little books and things and so I was like let me just check this out and look a little bit further. I normally go in there for crafting and decor and organizers. It's my favorite place for organizers and um, cleaning, cleaning tools and stuff like that's what I normally always went to the Dollar Tree for. I never like branched out into the books and things like that but um, I so anyway. I dug through and this is from a couple different ones I found this more like kind of graphic novel and my fifth grader almost sixth grader she um, isn't really into reading like just like the regular like chapter books or whatever she really she's really visual and so um, I found Jesse Elliott is a big chicken and this is by Elise Gravel. If I say that right, it could be Gravel, but Gravel, you never know. It's originally $14.99. And it's really nice hardback book. Look at this, y'all. And they're like kind of like thick magazine pages. But don't be such a chicken. So a little bit more like graphic novel, like like in between chapter book, graphic novel, um, kind of thing, like little things like that. So this is, this is really good, and she's super excited when I showed it to her. So, and this is um, this girl about, I think she's about to go into college. So, I'm not college, high school. I'm sorry. <laughs> college. Okay. Um, and then I picked up some summer reading for me and my oldest daughter because um, she's kind of like in between. She's going into high school. So I have two kids transitioning, one into middle school and then one going into high school. And so um, I wanted to pick, I like to pick up like uh, nonfiction books and fiction. I found this one and this is called Perfectly You, Embracing the Power of Being Real. And I just like uh, little inspirational books like this because I'm like, I'll read it. I'm like, heck yes, heck yes. So this one, and this one was normally $26.99. And um, then this front sticker on here, it looks like it had been marked down wherever it was to $16.98, but the original, original price was $26.99. And um, this hardcover too, and so, it's just this woman's journey into being real and true to herself. So I thought this would be great for myself and for my teenage daughter. And then I picked up, sometimes the safest place to be is underwater. 
and by um, Melissa Richard, Richard, Ricard, Richard, maybe. This was originally $17.99, and this is kind of just kind of like a drama book. So, and so I'm super excited about this. And then, like I said, um, my daughter sometimes likes the books that I'm reading. So I'll read them, she'll read them, she'll read them, then I'll read them. And then this one is kind of like more like what I picked up for her. It's called Inappropriation. And uh, it's just talking about a lot of like girl stuff. <laughs> um, so it's like a young adult, teenage, teenage age girl, and just like a lot of just stuff about all of that. So, um, yeah, this one was, and there's a sticker over the price. Let me see if I can get it up and see what this original price was. Y'all bear with me. It looks like originally, um, you can see it there, originally $26.99. So last four digits on books, if y'all don't know this, is um, if you can't find the original price, like just print it on the book, um, or stickers too big covering up, the last four digits on that little tiny UPC is the price, original price of the book. So originally $26.99. So, yeah, so I'm super excited, some summer reading stuff. I'm currently in the middle of another book that was on the uh, Reese Witherspoon reading um, club thing. I can't even remember what the little club is called, but uh, her suggested reading book. So I'm currently reading one of those right now. But after that, I'm definitely moving on to those. Okay, so now some kind of like decor stuff. And um, these come in three different designs, but I only picked up two um, for a reason, I'll tell you. Um, these are kind of like those heavy, I think they're like, might have a little cement in the middle of them and then on the outside might be like a particle board or some, I don't know, maybe not a particle board, some sort of like ceramic or something. But they have them white and then they have them in this gold and um, y'all have heard me say before, my oldest daughter's room, I've done a lot of stuff in my middle daughter's room and now I'm starting to kind of do some more in my oldest daughter's room as little decor pieces. And so I found these and I got two gold ones because she has gold accents in her room. And um, so I just picked up the two round ones. They have another one that kind of goes like this. Um, but I picked up these two. And then to go in those, because I didn't want fire in there, I picked up, because they come in a two pack, and this is why I did two, um, LED tea light candles. So... Just picked up a couple of those to fit in there and they already have the batteries in there which I love thank you Dollar Tree for always doing that to the majority of your products so um yeah I thought that would be great she does meditation and things like that and so I thought that that would be a great little thing to put in there okay so I haven't found the perfect frames for her room but I found some little small frames for my younger daughter's room and I've seen those cool wood bins. They have them in three different sizes and I've seen them on YouTube hauls, but I have not been lucky enough to find them for myself, but I found some frames that look like them and I picked up three. So if y'all have seen those little bins and y'all know what I'm talking about as far as these, they're like these little uh, faux wood um, crates. And they come in three different sizes and kind of like stack inside each other. But these are frames that I think they, they're they new because um, they have the same exact look, the same ex shade. I've only seen this teeny tiny crate in my stores. Um, so I haven't seen actually all three of them yet. So I haven't picked any up. But I do want to because I thought that would be cute for her cubbies in her closet to keep those little things in. But I did pick up three of these and I still have them in the bubble wrap that they were in. Um, so I picked up three. I just like things in three, but um, we're gonna put some pictures in those for her room. Pictures are quotes. Sometimes she'll make little art pieces and we'll put them in frames too. And so I'm looking for the perfect gold frames for um, my oldest. 
So I had picked up, if y'all saw, on my um, Target and um, Five Below haul. I picked up a couple like um, 8x10 posters for my kitchen, but I needed some frames. And I found these 8x10 frames that are a like fake wood, but they are grooved. They have, they're textured. And I like the dark look of these, but it's not going to work in my kitchen. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all apart and I'm actually going to spray paint the frame white and put those pictures in there. So I'm going to do like a satin white on these. And I picked up two of those and they're super lightweight. And they, I know on some like Dollar Tree frames, they don't have the hooks to hang up on the wall, but these actually do. So I apologize y'all. There's so many glares. You can see my kids toys in the background. But I like these. These are really pretty, like dark. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much glare on there. But they're dark and texturized. Really pretty. I just found them randomly in a box, actually, on an end cap. They were the only thing on this end cap, so they must have been putting some new frames out. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting those kitchen quotes in there. So we have my son's birthday coming up, and then two. And then my hair's falling out. And then um, my daughter's birthday is in July. So I picked up some yard balloon sticks. Hold on. Okay. Woo. Sorry. So they come in a four pack. And I hadn't seen them at mine. Which actually does have a lot of um, party stuff. But I hadn't seen them there. But I found them at the one I went to in Raleigh. So this is four yard balloon sticks. I got two packs. And... Um, so I picked those up for party things. Sorry, plastic loud. And then of course had to pick up some balloons. So I picked up those for his. And then I think I may save these like really cool confetti ones for my daughters. I'm not sure. Cause it's a little bit more like, I had a lot of pink in it. And so um, in his party, like doing a lot of primary colors cause it's like Paw Patrol slash fire trucks. So I'm gonna do the balloon sticks for those and then reuse them and do these cool confetti balloons for um, my daughter. Cause no matter how old you get, balloons are still fun. So that's party stuff. And then um, some little tiny like licensed stuff. Okay. They had at the one in Raleigh, they had Jurassic Park toys. And um, my son loves dinosaurs, so I got some of these. And I thought these were really cool because they actually come on little, like they're standing on rocks and things. So I was like, how cute would these be for people doing like their own cakes, like decorating cakes and things. But um, they come in fours. So they have the Triceratops there. Sorry, it's blurry. Here's the Triceratops, and I got so much glare right now, y'all, I'm so sorry. Triceratops, then they have the Dimetrodon. It's kind of like a lizard, gecko kind of thing. Um, then of course the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then this is the Vel Velociraptor Blue. And I thought like, because of how small they are, look, my hand, okay? How good would those be on a cake? So all these um, all these small licensing toys would be great on for cakes and things, or licensed, whatever. <laughs> this name brand stuff. So we got the, so those are the dinosaurs, and then my friend found some other Disney ones, and there's, there's a bunch, there was a bunch in this one store, but I only picked up one. Um, that my son actually knows, which is Simba. They had these, but they had quite a few other ones too. And you could see on the back, they had almost, they didn't have Donald Duck and Daisy Duck or Pluto, um, but they had the other ones that were on the back here, if it will let you see those. So those are all the ones there. Um, and my friend picked up a few. But I just stuck with Simba because my son knows that. And then 
my nephew is really i mean obsessed with toy story so i actually picked up these little figures for toy story so you can put his in room or my sister can save them and use them on a cake because again these are on little stands and i just thought how cute would these be like in your room like decorating like one of those floating shelves or save them and use them on a cake whatever but they had um woody they had Bo Peep, and I love her like power stance in this. <laughs> Look at that power stance. Um, they had Buzz, of course, and Rex, my favorite. <laughs> so I, I, and they're all on stands, and I just thought all this stuff. How cute would these be on cakes, cupcakes? Or just like sitting up on a shelf. Of course, play with them, but I don't know. I thought it was cute. So, pinch those up. Okay. So, um, I'm redoing, like I'm getting some desk redone. I have this, I've had this one lady, she refurbishes furniture and she's done a couple of dressers. I have one dresser that I actually use as my entertainment stand. Um, cause I don't like seeing all my DVDs out. So I use the drawers for DVDs, but, um, and then my son's dresser, she's done and she does beautiful pieces and she is slowly working on some desk and stuff as she finds them. And so I'm slowly picking up some things to organize my daughter's desks and cause I'm putting some small desk in their rooms so they can have like a place to do their makeup and schoolwork and their crafting projects and things like that. So, um, I picked up these napkin holders in the kitchen section and thought these would be great for them to keep cards in. They can keep their stickers stacked in here, um, crafting paper, whatever in these. And then of course, um, my middle daughter, I'm going to keep silver. And then of course, with my older daughters being gold accents, I'm going to spray paint this one gold for hers. So, um, picked up those for their desk and then I wanted something cause they have like mirrors and they have good overhead lighting in their room. So I wasn't really worried. And then like they have these like light up mirrors that I had got them for Christmas for their makeup. So I just wanted to pick up these little lamps and I saw someone else like haul one for crafting and they actually put off some really good light. It's a super bright desk lamp, LED. And again, y'all the glare, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's gonna, I had the worst time <laughs> getting things to focus. So this little tiny lamp and um, open it up. It's super compact, so cute. Look how little it is, look. But this one actually does not come with batteries. You need three AA batteries for this. And it just has a little button on the top here and they can adjust it and there's a little light there this whole thing is the led light but i've seen you see how tiny it is but when i saw hers it gave off a lot of light so when i do their desk organization thing i'll do a video for it and i'll show y'all these lights at work so um picked up a couple of those so two of those for their rooms for their desk and then of course some tissues for their rooms and then one box to keep down here so I just like the cute little design so nothing super exciting but the Scotties um, I liked this little turquoise and teal one this one's fun kind of looks like like a marble like water print and then just like a classic print to keep downstairs so nothing exciting there but always like to get some tissues and i like these because they're not like super fluffy soft soft i don't like the super like lotiony soft ones i always feel like they get fuzzies all in my nose and i don't like that <laughs> so um beauty stuff and y'all, I'm using, I'm using these awesome tubs for beauty things. So a few new things. I hadn't seen these. Um, 
and I'm kind of nervous about them, but I want to try them anyway because how fun does this sound? <laughs> Jelly bath bombs. So I got these for my son. I'm a little nervous. They had two different color sets, but the other one had more like pink and purple in it. So I picked up this one. Um, jelly ones. So I'm a little, I'm a little bit nervous about what this is going to do in my tub, but, um, little baking soda won't, will fix it right up. So I did that. And then for my daughters and me, I picked up these, these are like perfect size. See how skinny these are? The perfect size for purses. And, um, I picked up, they had Dove, and we love Dove. That's the soap that we use here. The classic Dove white bar. So this is like that, this is that scent. Classic Dove scent. And it's always just smells so clean. It's rich nourishment cream. So I thought this would be great. It's for face and body, but I thought this would be great, like a little hand cream to um, keep in their purses. And then I picked up a beauty cream. For face and body and this um kind of has a little bit of the scent of that like pink bar that they sell dove and then i am i'm a pawns lover and i saw this new light moisturizer for soft and glowing skin so um i thought this was good like I, i've said before i have eczema so i thought this would be good for like some lotion top shots on my face um or use it for my hands and again, sorry, there's so much glare in here. It's such a bright, happy, sunny day outside. So I picked up those and then I picked up some wipes, some face wipes. And I hadn't seen these yet. These are Bolero Beverly Hills uh, facial wipes, 32 count. And they come with a really nice clasp on the top. Um, so pop open really nice. I, I just, I like the ones that are like this instead of the ones that have like the tape that you have to keep pulling back down. So this one's pineapple and aloe vera. Okay, and then rose water and honey. Oh my gosh, the glare. And then orange blossom and lavender. So I picked that up for me and the girls. And these were the only three um that i found so i didn't see any other scents in those then i picked up this multivitamin spa face mask by global beauty care and so i have been collecting face masks because me and my oldest daughter want to do like a face-to-face -face thing we're going to call it face-to-face where we do face masks and talk about topics, answer silly questions, and play little fun games. So I've been collecting, and then we're gonna kind of rate our face masks and see this is a winner, this is not. So um, there's one for that. Um, and then we got a Freeman, Brightening Seawood Pearl, and me and my girl, this is why we have so many, there's three of us girls in this house. So picked up that one um mask bar luminizing charcoal peel off mask charcoal sorry this has just like one mask in it one use uh, freeman and this is actually a two pack sheet mask purifying grapefruit because um my middle daughter she's a she's a tween so she's going to kind of like join us in on some of those cool little mother daughter talks bubble clay mask brightening um i just i have never tried any bubble mask so i'm a little nervous about these so but these are the ones that kind of like suds up on your face so that one sounds fun um chamomile cucumber and the hibiscus rose and these are by that bolero beverly hills too and then another Freeman two pack hydrating aloe, which I could always use, especially today. My face is so red, y'all. I got my, I had my eyebrows done today, and um, I turned so red after I get my eyebrows done. And then here's another bubble face mask. This is the new and original Korean beauty mask infused with glycolic acid, bubble face mask treatment. 
by Bio Miracle Skin Therapy. So again, I don't know if I'm gonna try them or just make my kids be the guinea pigs. <laughs> Um, and this is another hand and uh, nail gloves, and this is a green pri briar product. So this is one of Dollar Tree's, and then this is a spa April bath and shower, and this is a two step, which I haven't ever seen a two step. But this is a cucumber exfoliating scrub, and for that step one and it removes oil, dirt, and makeup buildup. And then in this other side, is step two is a pink grapefruit clay mask, and it removes impurities that leave skin looking dull. So you kind of use one in the shower and then kind of put your face mask on in the other. And this is um, a Dollar Tree brand, so Greenbrier product. So um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this or have one of my girls might take it before me. And then I picked up another Pond product, um, Perfect Color Complex, anti-marks for natural color. So this is just a beauty cream, normal to dry skin. And um, I thought I would give this a try as a normal, like an everyday face moisturizer. So, especially because it comes, it's just a little 1.35 ounce and you, you know, you, a little bit goes a long way. And then again, I can use my little one like this that I carry with me as kind of like a touch up if it gets dry again. So that is all that fun beauty stuff. And like I said, I know I have so much and we're on the last, my last bin. And this is all the crafting stuff. But before we get to that, like I, I'm transitioning from like the baby grass mat um, drying rack to um, to a uh, just one of these because I like these for um, like our reusable water bottles because you know they never get dry if I just put them on a drying mat because I just normally use just a drying mat because we normally just wipe stuff off as soon as we wash it we don't really leave them leave stuff sitting out um, except for cups and things with like grooves and things like that so since we don't do it a ton I th just picked up one of these dry mat racks. Mm. Boring stuff. Boring stuff. Um, this is magnetic buttons. So I thought like a little craft we could do or just to hang stuff on the fridge. Um, gluing magnets on the back. Making our own little magnets. Thought that would be fun. Um, so and then I, had, I have not seen these. I've seen the little miniature palettes. But I have not actually seen these in any of mine. None of mine have like a ton of crafting stuff. Um, so when I went to Raleigh, I saw these. And these are like a larger wood palette. And, but it's a little different. And then I was like, maybe I'll stain these and put little pictures on them and hang them. I can use like the, putting a couple magnets on these for the fridge and like a little clothespin here or on this side, um, one of the mini clothespins I keep and hang pictures on them. So um, be sure to check out my Instagram, organically underscore designed underscore. And I put all my like little tiny mini projects like that up there. So I'll probably be doing something with this soon. And then um, I picked up like a small wreath. I like to do the small wreaths like inside. And um, I like this one because it's like wrapped and like skinny jute twine and I've seen they they've had these um but I normally do big wreaths on the front door and stuff but I wanted to do like a small one inside that I can kind of like keep inside oh that's my little one getting up from a nap so we'll go through these um my oldest daughter I'm trying to get her into junk journals because she's like super creative and so I picked up one of these little notebooks because they have the two sections in it. And y'all, I don't know enough about junk journals to remember what those names of those sections are. But I thought this would be like a good base practice for her for starting so she can cover this one or not or like put stickers on it and things like that and use these pager, pagers, these pages as like a good little like starter one so she kind of knows how they're kind of like set up 
a clasp in here kind of like that because you can remove and change these out if you want to um so i was like okay this will be a good little practice one for her like a starter one so i picked that up because i know like the real junk journals you completely hand make so i thought this would help her kind of like have an idea of how they're laid out and put together because um i don't personally do them but she likes collecting little things and so i thought well, that would be great to kind of have them in these pretty little books so um going with that is i got a bunch of stickers for both my girls because my middle one journal she just started journaling but she's not into the junk journal thing um because i showed her too she, so but she just wants some stickers and things for her book so i picked up a various array I thought this one would be good. These poster stickers would be great for the junk journaling. Because, like, you can stick these on. And they have these pretty, really pastel different ones. These would be good to actually... She can write on with a pen as little journal sections. In that book to actually write things out with. And then, how pretty are these? So, both of them can kind of share these. Because, you know, you double-sided. Um, to put in their regular journals. Or, um... The oldest one's junk journal. The same thing with these. These are my favorite. I don't know if I might share these or keep these for my stuff. I have like a creative journal. I don't really journal journal. I keep like the little um, composition notebook um, now. I used to have a spiral notebook, but I'm transferring stuff to a composition notebook that I keep like inspiration stuff in for crafting, organizing, just little projects like that. So I may steal these from them and keep them for myself um so and then i got these two and these have glitter on them so pretty stickers four little butterflies on those and then um the oldest one i picked up these rub on transfers and i have not tested these out these are the foil ones they're gold Goodness, that glare. I'm sorry, y'all. Gold ones on there. I don't know if it's going to let you see that good. But um, it has such teenage stain on these. Who cares? <laughs> Go after your dreams. Fun. BFF. Oh, God. Just no. Open mind. Nope. <laughs> Whatever. Um, not yours. So very sassy, but very like there's some positive ones on there, too. <laughs> So I picked those up for her. And these rub-on transfers, <laughs> my middle daughter likes um, all the succulents and cacti. So I picked up her, the cacti sheet, rub-on transfers. So she can rub these on and put them in her journal. Or, um, I don't know, she could probably decorate um, these wood frames with them. That would be pretty too. Especially like the little black and white ones. Just to add some of this like, uh, those would be really pretty on that so we might do that again check out my instagram we'll put pictures on there and then um picked up some more of these like little cool ones they're like outlined in like silver and stuff and like rainbowy in the middle um so picked up those and then more stickers um kitty cacti how cute are these? I picked these up for Savannah, the middle one. <laughs> she loves little cacti and, ki and kitties. And um, I got her the unicorn ones too. <laughs> I had recently picked up some sloth rainbow ones for the oldest one, Lacey. So, um, and then more journal stuff, more junk journal stuff. I picked them each a set of letters. I picked these up for Lacey, the oldest. And I thought these were really cool. They're white, black, and gray in different little prints. I, my my favorite, of course, is the buffalo plaid. But these, um, I really, really like these. But I thought these would be cool mixed with her stickers because they kind of go with whatever. And then um, these are for Savannah, the middle one. And they have, like, animal print. And some of them have little giraffes on it. I'm going to try to get it. Like, that one has little giraffes. There's the leopard print, zebra print. And then like these um, orange ones have kind of like a scales on it a little bit. And then the green one has like little greenery on it, if you can see.
be that. So I thought those were really pretty. I was like, oh, these would be good for like little headers and things like that for their journal. And then um, I am doing a special little craft and I'm not going to talk about it um, because it's a surprise for someone and I don't want them seeing it or hearing about it. I picked up a couple different rub-on transfers that I'm testing out for something. Um, so I got these. And then I got these because I didn't know which one was going to go better. So, but when I do do it, I'll let y'all know, but it'll be a little bit. So then um, I found these little planner stickers. There's 323 pieces in this. And I picked these up, one for my girls journaling and then two when I do their desk. I'm actually going to be doing um, like a little mini bulletin board over top and do like a small calendar. So I thought that they could use these for that. Oh shoot, I almost dropped it. <laughs> this is by, um, oh, this is a Graham Briar product and I did not look at it. These are really nice, 323 pieces. And um, yeah, so they have all different sizes. Like these are a little large one, shopping list this week. So I picked these up for Lacey because of the gold accents. So it'd be really cute hanging up. She can put things on there for her small calendar. You've got little tiny stickers and big ones and um, things for little notes. And um, yeah, these are, these are really nice. So, and then these I picked up for Savannah. Again, kitties and unicorns and rainbows like right up her alley so picked up these for her and bought these were so good little i mean these can be of course for planners as i think the true intention but i bought for wall calendars and they can use them in their journals as well and so like these are for some of the bigger ones and the mini ones um ooh, this one has pizza and pie on it so fun 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 ones and then um these brought me back to my childhood 600 stickers lisa frank <laughs> i was so excited when i saw these i was like i'm pretty sure like these are going to be my stickers now and i use a lot of planner stickers but i'm pretty sure like these are going to be mine and i'm going to put them in my planner <laughs> look at these the classic leopard and puppies and pandas and all that stuff y'all like 600 look at the lips and the peace sign i mean i i was like y'all this is my childhood like all the folders and stuff like that um i had gotten a lisa frank folder for savannah and um she's like it's a little much but i'll, I'll use it but yeah hey hey 90s um, so picked up those and that is the last of all of this giant haul that I did. Thank y'all for sticking with me. Um, for all the little small little projects and things I do for like my kids desk organization, I might do a video for that, but like, um, the little crafts, like the crates and pictures for the, for the fridge, um, my little picture frames I'm going to be spray painting, um, 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 saying um a lot. So all those little things, be sure to check out my Instagram at, again, organically underscore designed underscore. And then my Facebook page is organically designed. And then of course, all my larger projects and fun little hauls for those organizing, um, creating and cleaning. Um, yeah, so those are all going to be on there. So we have a lot of shopping lately um, just due to all the organizing and cleaning projects I've been doing for spring and to get us ready for summer, for traveling. That's why we're getting that car ready. Um, so be sure to look forward to all of those little fun things. As always, happy organizing and have an amazing rest of your day.